Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare some cacao drink for your own ritual or for a full cacao ceremony for yourself at home. You want to first make sure that you have set up a sacred space, an altar or a shrine. This is going to be to invoke the cacao spirit. In this setup, you want to make sure that you have represented the four elements. So we have earth, water, fire and air on the most basic level. You can add on to this as much as you like. So if you have other belief systems that you would like to bring in or other gods and guides you would like to uh, address, then you also represent them here on your shrine or your altar or your sacred space. Now you might want to have a mini version of this where you will be sitting to drink the ritual of cacao. So maybe you want to prepare two spaces and then just take certain of the elements with you when you take your cacao to sit and to drink in your meditation. So what I have here is the setup already and I have all my ingredients which I'll talk you through in a moment. Before anything starts, we cleanse the space and we invoke the spirit in of cacao. So we'll start with fire. And represented by a candle. If you are fortunate enough to have a place, a pit where you can make an actual fire outdoors or indoors, then that is preferable. Otherwise, the candle flame represents the element of fire. From there, add in some air. You don't have to do this in any particular order. It's always a nice idea to start with fire. Right. And it's just to bless the space. Okay. What I also have here already prepared is some water. This I leave every full moon out to be blessed by the moon energy. And that serves as my offering to the water element. And then I also have some earth elements here. Obviously rock, crystal, earth. And then some offerings of food. Nice treats of almonds and figs. You can add anything that represents the earth element. I also have some beautiful rosemary, freshly picked from the garden. So these are all the offerings that we're making to the bigger spirit or to these particular elements as well. Now before I start working with the cacao, I make sure I'm clean. So of course I have taken a shower or I've washed my hands, whatever is appropriate at the time. And then the energy, additionally, I'm going to cleanse. So you might work with your own scents. You can also just work with some incense if you don't have any other smokes. If you know your own um, teachings on smokes and you work with your own plant for smokes or your own oils for smokes. All right, so what I'm going to do now is a cleansing smudge stick that I made myself, dried over many months and also was speaking to the plant spirits. Oh, I got assistance in making it. So we're working with the plants and we work with Mama Cacao. And from the beginning, we bring in all the other assistants. Okay, so once I've got the smudge stick or your incense or your oils, whatever you're working with, then I just do a general cleanse. Now you might want to get quite elaborate with this, or you can just do a quick smudge. Wherever the smoke goes, it cleanses. And just to cleanse over the sensory organs, the main sensory organs, and then over your heart center. That's what we work with. If you feel you want to do a full body smudge, then you can do the whole thing as well. Put on some nice music if you like. And now our space is ready to work from. I always just start the practice with a bit of sound. And I find naturally as I start to prepare the cacao, I end up humming or singing. So this is a mindfulness practice. It is a form of meditation. So enjoy it. Take your time. Okay, on the practicalities of the ingredients and the amounts, I first boil the kettle. Now, 
This is not to put directly onto the ceremonial cacao paste. This is to form a double boiler system so that I can put my cup in the boiling water and then inside the cup I put the cacao and tempered water. So the cacao never touches boiling di water directly or gets up to boiling point. So this way you're able to monitor the temperature of the water. If you are unsure, it might be a good idea just to go buy a little thermometer for yourself or put that in the water, or put it in the cacao as well. You'll see as, uh, as I go what I mean by that. I don't work with the thermometer, I just use the finger test. All right, if you can put your finger in and you don't have to take it out immediately, obviously it's not boiling and you'll feel if it's hot enough to melt the cacao. So I just use for myself a little pot like this because what I'm going to do now is put my chosen vessel for my ritual cacao drink in here. Okay, so there's the quick kettle. Let's get this going. First of all, I put some water into my pot. This is just so that my cup can sit in the water. I also put the stove plate on to keep that water hot. If this water can be boiling, absolutely. So I'll just put it on about number four or six. And then I choose what cup size I want to drink from today. If it's going to be a small cup, it's going to be a very thick consistency, of course. The bigger it gets, the more diluted. So it might be a bit runnier, but then you have a little bit more volume. It's the same as having an espresso versus an Americano. You're still getting the same dosage of your shot, but it just depends on how diluted you like it. So my smallest vessel that I have is this, my medium vessel that I have is this, and then this would be the grande vessel that I hardly ever use, just because I like mine quite thick. All right, so I'm gonna take the medium vessel today. Now I put this into my pot, and the cacao goes into the cup, not into the boiling water. So right now the cup is heating up because the water around me is hot. For storage uh, purposes, I, I chop my cacao up just into quite big blocks and then I store it in a glass jar, much better than plastic. And depending on how hot your house is, you might want to put that into the fridge. I'll just take out a block. Now, over the years, I have worked out roughly what um, my dosage is without having to weigh it. But I do have a scale that I use, and I'm going to do a standard dosage today of 30 grams. Okay. So you chop the block up, and then you would want to weigh the cacao. You can do it in the block before you chop it up, or you can chop it up first and then put it in a vessel, put it on your scale, and determine your 30 grams. Right, now once you've got your 30 grams of your ceremonial grade cacao, you then put that into the cup. Now if your cup is too hot at first, put some cold water in. So here's my moon water again. This is so that I'm just making sure that the actual cacao doesn't go into anything that's too hot for it. So I've filled the cup to about half now with my new water. Okay, then I'm going to add my cacao that I have chopped quite finely. That's about 30 grams, that's about the look of it. And there it goes into the cup. Sometimes I feel that I want to first honor the spirit of cacao before I even start chopping and preparing in the cup. However, today, just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm getting right to it because there is time now. This is a slow, mindful process. Like I said, we don't want to boil what's in the cup. The surrounding water can be boiling, which I'm going to do now. I'm just going to speed up the process a little bit. However, I'm very tuned in to what's happening inside the cup and I'm making sure it doesn't get above 60 degrees. So that'll be hot to the touch, but not uh, burning to the touch. So 
So as the cacao melts, I'm putting in my intention. And over here, I'm calling in the spirit of Mama Cacao. I've offered her the element of fire. I've offered her the element of air. I've offered her the element of water, and I've offered her the element of earth. I have cleansed, and I have offered so that I'm now open to receive. We can't receive anything before we have offered. Now, these offerings can be as elaborate as you like. Some days I'll go all out. Other days I just want to keep things simple. And right now I'm feeling I do want to do a little blessing over the cup. So I'm just going to get some sound going again. As well as some other smoke. And this is the bark of a tree, Palo Santo, and it comes from a similar region as the original strains or the original trees of Theobroma cacao, from which we get our cacao beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sure that the temperature stays at a consistent temperature. So in here right now, if I just had to drink this, it would be incredibly bitter. So I'm going to add a little bit of sweetener. We want to be mindful of the sweetener we choose, make sure it's good for the environment, good for the body, good for nature in general. So I, my personal preference is coconut sugar, All right? or coconut blossom nectar the coconut sugar does need a little bit of a higher temperature to melt but still i'm monitoring that it doesn't get too hot okay. and that's it pretty much you can obviously use honey you can use normal cane sugar uh, you can use your artificial sweeteners if you prefer that. It really is up to personal preference. Educate yourself on what you're using and then make an informed choice. It's nice and thick now. And here we get into the finer art of preparing that cacao drink that is just wow. So a little bit of salt. This is always, always needed. Just a little pinch. Get a nice good Himalayan salt or another salt that is really good. And then some cinnamon. Now, cinnamon is also a very warming element, uh, very warm elements inside it. And it works very nicely with the spirit of cacao. Both of them are feminine plants. And we want to add in some cacao. Depends how much of the cinnamon flavor you like. Very nurturing combination. Of course, you can use other superfood powders if you like a little bit of maca. Cacao and maca go really well together. Look more of a boost from that. Uh, and then mesquite as well, just to add a little bit more sweetness to the cacao, natural sweetness. Both of these plants are superfoods. Okay, and then it's pretty much ready to go. Now, if you have some, um, some vanilla you would like to add, some vanilla powder is really nice as well. Also, very feminine, they all enhance each other. And if you're wanting a little bit of buma or oomph, then some cayenne pepper. Now, not too much. First, just use a little bit in the beginning and then see how it goes. So this will just increase the fire element. Um, it gets absorbed a little quicker as well. And you'll know when you taste the cayenne. It has that, uh, that hot taste, actually, in your mouth. I'm going to show you how thick this is now. Be mindful when you take it out because it is going to be hot around the edges. So just have a cloth ready. I just haven't been in here for too long, so I'm just touching it first and it's fine to bring out. Just to put it down, stir it a little bit more. Now it's going to cool down and in about two minutes it will be ready to drink. Two to five minutes. And again, just getting very mindful as I'm stirring. Okay. 
and it is nice and thick. Here we go. So you could actually just have it all in one spoon like that. Look how beautiful that is. If you wanted to make it a little runnier, again, some tempered water, not boiling water, but some tempered water, and then you just stir for a bit longer. So this I could actually eat like a, like a chocolate dessert through the spoon. And uh, later on I'll just add a little bit more water to temper. But that's basically it. Now before we drink the cacao, let me just give thanks to the preparation space, to everything that has assisted us. This can be a lot longer process as well, but this is basically it just for your own home practice. And you just take a moment to honor the fire, the air, the water, and the earth. We'll take it one step further. Each of these represent a cardinal direction. So we honor the west, we honor the north, we honor the east, and we honor the south. I've already prepared a space for myself to sit. What I will take with me is just a small representation here. So I already have a mini, mini shrine set up in this shell. So I'll just take some of the fire element. There's already the air element in the incense. And then I have the water and the earth element that I'll take with me with my cacao. So sit down, remain present, and sip it slowly. One sip at a time. Meditate on it. Feel it in the body. And then work with the intention. I hope this was helpful. If you are going to be preparing for a larger batch, the same principles apply. Instead of having a small pot and a small cup, you'll have a larger pot and maybe a bowl inside that. Monitoring a little bit more intense to monitor though, because the temperature fluctuation might be a little bit bigger. But if you're mindful, Mama Cacao will guide you. Blessings on your ritual drink and your ceremony.